everybody, welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are diving into some brand new WWE Elite action figure news. I feel like it's been a long time since some WWE action figure news leaked. I feel like it's mostly been AEW for a really long time now. But before we dive into it, man, I want to give a huge shout out to my man Prime underscore wrestling on Instagram. Big friend of the channel, really awesome guy. Definitely go check him out. Great pick fetter as well. But Prime Wrestling hit us up, man, and we have some pretty awesome leaks here for some upcoming WWE Elite Series and a basic wave. If I, th I don't think we've seen this basic series, but we'll take a look at the end. But uh, if you guys did not know, WWE Elite Series 91, if you guys didn't know the lineup, here is the lineup. Kevin Owens, Hulk Hogan, Rob Van Dam, Austin Theory, Bianca Belair, and Sami Zayn. Now, I'm pretty sure this full wave has already been leaked on the channel before. Like, I think we've already discussed this. I'm very excited for this wave. I think Elite Series 90 is the one with Randy Orton in the white gear. So the series after that is really good right here. This is a fantastic wave. Like one of the like this is gonna be one of the better sets of I would say probably 2022. I'd say we'd probably get it sometime in January if I had to guess. I could be wrong about that, but that's just my first guess. Probably gonna be right at the end of December, right at the beginning of January for this Elite 91. Should be insane. Like double jointed arms, Kevin Owens. You have the beautiful Hulk Hogan figure that we got to see the render of. Of course, the Tiger Stripes Rob Van Dam gonna be a really early. Fa it's either going to steal the figure of the year at the end of 2021, or it's gonna be the front runner favorite at the start of 2022 but Rob Van Dam is going to be an incredible figure we also have an elite of Austin Theory really interested to see what they do for the formula of that guy not a big fan of Theory however his figure will probably be pretty cool so we have that we have Bianca Belair in her Royal Rumble gear with the removable earrings if I'm not mistaken and then last but not least we do have Sami Zayn and I'm sure it'll be an updated conspiracy theory Sami Zayn which should be really sick as well again very expressive double jointed arms this wave should kick all the asses so this will be a really beautiful way but today guys we're diving into elite 92 and elite 93 so let's go ahead and start off with elite 92 and get down to the business so uh if you guys did not know we already had it like leaked out to us or, or shown to us at sdcc remember the adam cole and the war games gear i highly doubt we're going to get that at this juncture you know i i just don't see that happening now beings that he's all elite right he's over there doing business I doubt we get the War Games Adam Cole in the camo gear, which just leads me back around the track of why the hell would anyone not vote for that gear back in the day? Now we don't get it ever, Brad. It would have been a double jointed arms. It would have been a gorgeous War Games gear, Adam Cole. Now we don't get to see it. I blame you people that voted for the other. Outside of the War Games, Adam Cole, guys, we were also supposed to get the Chase variant of that figure. That was going to be the Chase variant in the set. So who knows what the new Chase variant is going to be? I have an idea on who it could be. Or they may just remove Adam Cole from the set. They may not have any last second plans to add anybody to the set. But Adam Cole, we already knew we were getting. And the other figure we knew we were getting was going to be the Burnt Fiend. Now, I don't know if the Fiend's going to be returning to television. I know they released Bray Wyatt or whatever they said there, but they released Bray Wyatt. So I don't know if that meant the full character. I, I don't think there's been any reports. I know there's rumors of him in AEW, but I don't know. I don't know if we're going to get that Burnt Fiend figure either. Would have been a really cool figure with the double jointed arms and stuff like that, but we are no longer getting that Burnt Fiend more than likely, just like the Adam Cole. So we may mess around and only have four figures in the Elite Series 92 unless they add some figures there. But getting into some new figures that we did not know about for this wave, it is going to be Rey Mysterio. So you're probably interested to know that you guys know that Rey, Rey was in Elite Series 88, right? He was just in the new wave that we reviewed not too long ago in the blue, red, and yellow gear. And here he is back again. You guys know they love to pump out Rey Mysterio figures like they're going out of style, man. Rey Mysterio is always a popular character. He sells really well. You know, top picks, Elite 88, Elite 92. I mean, I'm surprised we don't have an Ultimate Edition just yet. So Rey Mysterio will be right there. I hope it's a flashback Rey. I don't want to see a current day Rey. And do you guys remember that Rey Mysterio that was in the commercial forever ago? Remember, it was like the eye for an eye match. Maybe this will be from that match. I, I, I don't know. Maybe it'll be from the eye for an eye match that we got the basic of. I don't know if I still have a screenshot of that image of that Rey Mysterio that was in that commercial that was an elite of that attire. I don't know, but Rey Mysterio is in this way. Maybe it'll be that figure, but that was forever ago. Next up, guys, the next two figures in the set are going to be Ric Flair and Charlotte. Now, again, Ric Flair, with his figures being pushed to clearance at retail and, you know, him being removed from certain things in WWE and, like, his merch and all these different things being moved around, I don't know if we're going to get this figure, man. Maybe we'll be down to three figures in this wave at the end of the day. Adam Cole, The Fiend, and Ric Flair get cut. We may be down to only three figures in the set, but Ric Flair and Charlotte are the next ones. You know, I don't know how they're going to beat the Ultimate Edition Charlotte Flair, but maybe it'll be, you know, 
know, very good in quality compared to that. Also with, you know, maybe an updated head sculpt or a really good gear for Charlotte. So that'll be one thing. And then for Ric Flair, it doesn't really matter what era. I'd like to see an Evolution era, you know, Old Man Flair. We haven't seen one of those yet in Elite form, so that would be really cool there. And then the last figure in the set, guys, is going to be Scarlet, believe it or not. So Scarlet is going to get an Elite figure. Should be really good, you know, again, double jointed arms and stuff. Her basic figures are really good. You know, we had the, the two different basic versions for Scarlet, which were really good figures, you know. They were really good figures. I have both of those versions, and they were really nice, but an Elite will be a lot better, you know, as far as articulation and likeness and stuff like that i'm sure that will be a really banger of a figure there but that completes elite series 92 like all in all the the, the wave wasn't wasn't my favorite when you look at it but if adam cole the fiend and rick flair cut from the set i mean you're not looking at very much from the set man so i don't know if they're going to replace them if they still have them lined up to come out i don't know what they're doing there we'll have to see about that but elite series 92 is completed there Rey mysterio the fiend adam cole rick flair charlotte and scarlet so we take our attention after elite 92 man diving into elite series 93 we're starting things off man so excited for this one Seth freaking Rollins returns to the Elite line since Elite Series 86. I know that's like seven waves, which, you know, it kind of seems like Elite 86 just released, but to be honest with you, man, that's a while. Like, we've been waiting on a new Seth figure for a while now, and Seth, uh, Seth Elites used to be uh, like a lot of couple series, and now, you know, after this long break, it is time for a Seth Rollins, and hopefully it will be beautiful, man. We've been waiting on a great, a new head sculpt, double jointed arm Seth Rollins, man. Are you freaking kidding me? Gonna be an unbelievable figure. I don't know what gear they could go with. There's so many different gears they could go with. Are they going to give us a cloth jacket? Is it going to be, you know, uh, I don't know if they're going to go back to older sets. I would guess that it'd be a Monday Night Messiah Elite, you know, maybe in uh, his black and red gear with the jacket. A cloth jacket would be really sick. Maybe a long-haired head sculpt and a man bun head sculpt. I don't know. I just want a sick-ass Rollins with double-jointed arms. That's really all I want here, so hopefully that thing will absolutely slap. Can't wait to see what the Rollins looks like. Moving forward, guys, in this set, we also have T-Bar, so T-Bar is the next figure in the set. Not a big fan of T-Bar or, or Retribution at, at all. Maybe the figure will be really cool, you know? Maybe it'll be a really sick figure and an action figure. However, but uh, I, I don't really care about, about T-Bar or Retribution. I just hope for a really cool figure. Maybe some cool accessories or cool parts that we can use for other things. And so there will be a really good reason to grab the T-Bar. Because I'm just not a T-Bar or Retribution fan, so there's that. And diving into the next figure is going to be Karrion Cross. We already saw what the Karrion Cross looked like at Comic-Con as well. We saw the render image. Not a bad figure. Kind of a re-release of Elite 85 with some new gear or new Spark style entrance gear, which I don't really care about. It could be subject to change. Maybe they'll add some stuff to the figure. Figure, but you guys know I'm not a Karrion Cross fan, but he is added to Elite 93 as we know. And then the next one I'm super excited about as well, man, Cesaro Elite Series 93. It has been forever since we've seen a Cesaro Elite. It's actually been almost 40 series since we saw Cesaro, so I am so excited for the Cesaro. Should be insane. Double jointed arms, great looking head. It should be a new True Effects head sculpt. Great formula. Should be beautiful. I cannot wait to see what Cesaro looks like. It should be a banger of a figure, and Cesaro should be really awesome. So, Cesaro will be a banger of a figure in Elite 93, and hopefully it'll be contention for figure of the year once it's all said and done. Now, as we dive into Elite 93 more, guys, we also have Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. So, we're getting another Steamboat figure here. Not the most exciting release. We do have our share of Ricky the Dragon Steamboats. I bet they try to pump out one of those fan takeover figures that didn't win the vote back in the day, you know, in the fan takeover. Again, we did just get the fan takeover one not too long ago, but I bet they try to plug in one of those waves that did not make it in the poll, and they try to plug that here in Elite 93 is what I would guess. But we do get a flashback figure with Ricky the Dragon Steamboat, and completing Elite 93. 93 is going to be the Rachel Gonzalez that we saw the render image of not too long ago at Comic-Con 2. So Gonzalez is also getting her figure here in Elite 93, and that completes the wave here. So taking a look at all three series, man, you guys have Elite 91, Elite 92, and Elite 93. I mean, by far and away, Elite 91 is the best set, especially with Adam Cole and the Fiend being removed from Elite 92, uh, or more than likely. And then uh, I'd probably say Elite 93 is the second best with Rollins, Zorro, and then you also have a possible sick-ass T-Bar figure, depending on, you know, it's just going to see on a few things, but... Really great Elite Series coming soon. And then the last thing that I wanted to talk about is the WrestleMania Basic Series 2022. In this wave, we have Sheamus, Seth Rollins, Bianca Belair, and Hulk Hogan, which is going to be awesome because maybe we'll get a really sick Hulk Hogan figure. Maybe, I, I don't know what attire they're going to go with there, but it should be a really cool basic. Sheamus, 
Maybe we'll get an updated head sculpt that looks really sick. And then you have Seth Rollins. I mean, that could it'll probably be a repeat head of the Elite 93 figure, but we'll have to see what gear they give him. And then Bianca Belair, again, probably going to be a repeat of the Elite 91 head sculpt. But, you know, just in her WrestleMania gear. So, I guess Seth Rollins will probably be in his Mania 35 gear, in the white gear, mo more than likely. And then you have the, uh, or I guess it could be WrestleMania 36. We'll just have to see. Or is it WrestleMania 37 now? Jesus Christ, man. Mine just going all over the place. But that is your WrestleMania Basic Series 2022. Sheamus, Rollins, Be Belair, and Hulk Hogan, man. But that pretty much wraps up our video, man. A huge shout-out to Prime Wrestling again, man. Let me know what you think of these Elite Waves down in the comment section below. Elite 91, 92, 93. Which one wins the day. I'd say 91, man. With that Rob Van Dam and that Hulk Hogan and that KO, first time on the line, Austin Theory, a sick-ass updated Bianca Belair, and then a updated Sami Zayn. Really impossible to compete with that, man. I don't see how the other waves can really compete there, but that is going to wrap up today's video, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know your thoughts on these elite waves down in the comment section below, but I'm getting out of here, man. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok on My Damn Toys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. And don't cross the line like uh, the people that didn't vote for Adam Cole War Games gear back in the day. Mm. You cross the line, I've been